Okay, then I'm recording. You ready? Yeah. Sorry. Wait, where are you sitting? Ooh, that was a good shot. Hold on, I need to check it. Bullseye! Hold on, let me check it. All right, uh, day one, uh, I finally got up here far enough back in here and uh, located a bull a ways back and heard him, he's a ways away, so I uh, hiked about another half a mile real quick and then just let off one, bu one bugle just now and instantly replied, so let's hit off another one, see if he'll reply, maybe you hear it on camera. All right, I don't think I'm gonna push any more on this guy. I'm gonna move up towards the fence line and I wanna come back here at first light. This is a pretty, pretty good spot. I've actually hiked up here three different times to this, to the same location. Um, so I'm not gonna push him or mess with him anymore. So I'll save him for tomorrow because today's scouting day. So I'm gonna move, see if I can locate anymore. Bye. That's so awesome.
So this is this is right where that bull was standing. I came in from this side over here, and then I'd, I'd come to this same spot before while hiking. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna sit here. And of course he had called and then he, and then he came in close and I was like, oh crap, I was trying to back out. And so he actually came in because it was around this edge of like this, this real thicker stuff, some really good bedding. And this is pretty open here, this section of it. And it kind of goes down a hill right there. But he came in right over across here and he might, he might have run right on this edge, but then he came, he, he turned turned down there and he came up and he stood right here because there's those uh there's like those three trees right in a row and I couldn't really see very well when I was looking for him because I was I was just sitting right there right oh see I was sitting right there behind those two big those two foliage trees and I couldn't find him for a while I knew he was right here I just don't want to move. And then uh, he sat here for probably, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes. Just stood right here. And then uh, finally got some video on him and stuff. And he uh, he walked back. He kind of zigzagged, looking and looking. And then you'll see in the video, he barked. And was he didn't like, maybe he caught a little bit of wind or something. So close. But, so it was kind of like a frustrated bark, like, what the hell were you at? And then he kind of just, he kind of just slowly backed out. And then he went around, went around this side here, which sucks because that's where I walked in from. And then I actually was still sitting there and I could hear back behind here somewhere that he had walked and made a circle and it was up in there and I could hear another crunch little ways out and so I knew that he was just slowly heading away so that was awesome it's 26 degrees out here Warmer than yesterday. Yesterday it was 22 when I woke up, so I also woke up later, which is interesting. So I didn't sleep a wink. I've been up every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes. Uh, it's four o'clock. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Look at camp at night. All these lights. Or at not at night, but in the dark morning. Oh, trip on my wire. Oh, that was close. Come on, you can barely see it on camera, but right next to that tree, there's some lights. Oh yeah, right there. Those are deer. That's right where I saw those deer yesterday. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. I think there's six deer over there. There we go. See the heads pop up? Got all sets of, it sets of eyes there. There's more deer right in front of me. I didn't get that on video, but I see those eyes coming together. Those are bucks. They're down there fighting. Those two looking at me right now, and the other one's a doe. They're just knocking heads right now. That was awesome. Okay, so I saw all those deer on the way up, but I didn't take any video hiking in because it was so dark. But um, and then I didn't get a, a kill shot video, but so we'll just get right into uh, when I got up there in the dark after getting lost a couple times, taking the kill shot and uh, my reaction video. 
And then whatever else. Enjoy. This was my first big game animal I've ever killed. So enjoy the video. Oh. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he walked 30 yards. I drilled him, quartering to me. Oh my god. Oh, oh let me turn the camera around. Oh my god. Okay, I set up over here. Cause I was walk, I was walking up this morning, <sighs> coming coming in up here, and I and I heard him call a little bit in the bushes, and so I was like, all right, I hit this open area. You can see kind of it's it's open up in here, and but then I heard something up in here too. I thought, and I was like, what the heck? And squirrels are starting to go off, and it's been about I don't know close close to an hour. I don't know what time it is. It's uh it's eight sixteen, so. I, I thought he might come from behind me, so I was sitting in this this bush here on the other side, waiting and waiting and waiting, and all of a sudden he come over, and I, was, I kept calling, and I, I started calling a little bit heavier here, because I was almost going to go walk, because I was, I was getting cold. Oh, oh my God, I'm so shaking. Oh, let's walk up to it. Oh, I think I chambered another round real fast. Oh shit. Well, good thing I uh, already shot because I just dropped that right on the scope. Pretty good. Okay, let's walk up to it. Oh my gosh. T minus two minutes. There he is. Oh, oh my gosh. I, it's, not, it's not the same one I saw yesterday. I think this guy's bigger. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. oh. I just twitched. That scared me. The gun's still loaded. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five by five. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I got one. <laughs> so hard for this. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my stuff. <sighs> Give him a minute to make sure he's all the way dead. I don't see him breathing. <clears throat> I guess we can... Do the walk up and poke it, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so it was about at this point that I realized that not only did I have uh, some buck fever shaken, but I was also really, really cold and I was shaking uncontrollably. So after this, I started to run around and do some laps to warm up because I could not stop shaking. <sighs> oh my goodness. I can't, I can't, I can't hold still. <laughs> I set the camera down. Try to take a, a, a video. <sighs> oh, I gotta find a rock. Let's see, hold on. Five, 
five six one two three four five. This might be the one I saw yesterday. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in the same spot. I came right back to him. Oh my gosh, yes. incredible animal. What an incredible animal. God, I'll have to walk over see how far he went from, he walked 30 yards from where I shot him. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. All right, now the work begins. <laughs> he, came, he came in quiet all, all right up until that last that last step, he came in pretty hot right there. Oh yeah. I am cold too. I'm, I'm shaking because I can't believe this just happened, and I'm cold. <laughs> All right, this is where he was standing. That's how far he went. Right there. So, I mean, he was about that close last night. Probably 15, 17 yards. Last night he was at 21. And I shot him from right there. There's this, uh, like... There's a small bush, bush here, but there's kind of a big bush back there that I showed you before. And he came out right here. And this tree was kind of blocking his chest. And they didn't want to move back or anything. And so he kind of stepped out to here. And then he turned a little bit this way. And that's when he was quartering two. He just turned, opened his chest to me and I laid it right underneath him. Cause I was kept looking, looking at him, cause he had he had pegged me. He saw me move or something, cause I'd only just barely barely set up, and so he was looking for me, and bam, dropped him. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. All right, I shot this guy at like 8:15. It's now 12:45. I got two quarters off. Uh, one of them I deboned, the other one I didn't. Uh, the front two quarters, a whole bunch of neck meat, one back strap, more neck meat, other little sides pieces. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to start packing out the first load. Uh, somebody's helping me, somebody, somebody of a friend, and so hopefully we can find them and get some of this out of here faster. So, still got to get the two, the two hind ends off and the other back straps and the other neck meat from the other side, so... A lot of work to go, and I'm only halfway through the day, so. Oh, got a tree. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is not light, that's for sure. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the weight of pain and happiness and hard work. Ten years of hard work for one hike out. Let's do this thing. This is brutal. I finally found a place I could sit for a minute. There's a bunch of cabins right here, so. cabin two cabins three cabins that one must have been pretty big and then uh, on my onyx maps there's at least three more cabins just over that way so we're almost halfway out of the pack out for round one all right I didn't cry when I shot the bull but I cried when I saw this coming down the road just a second ago all right, so I got to the road, perfect timing. I flagged these guys down. 
They gave me a ride back to the Jeep. I took the Jeep down to camp, dropped the head and my bag of meat, and went back for a second round of packing it out. I couldn't be more thankful for the way everything turned out. Really good timing. Everybody helped. Didn't waste a minute. I worked the entire day. When you need to cover a lot of ground quickly, use an onyx. Make sure you're going the right way. Get a good line. And then look up. And grab one tree as far as you can see. And trudge right to it. When you get to that one, like I'm getting 20 yards from it, you pick another one. And you go to that one. About half a mile, we'll be back to the elk. I was cutting and I was like, something caught my hand and I was like, what the heck is that? That's part of my bullet. Cause it, it mushrooms into six different, six different flanges. And this was down there a little bit, but I double long shot him. See all the bubbles everywhere. And uh, this was right at, right at the skin level. Right there, oh. It went in, I just saw the entrance wound too. Right there, standing up. Center chest punched him, probably through the heart and one lung for sure. Heck yes, that was cool. All right, this is crazy. I don't think it'll film very cold my knees. When I'm cutting this little bit right here, it twitches. He's only been dead 30 minutes, maybe. The, f the very first time it did it, it scared me because his leg moved. And his upper back on this other side kind of twitches too. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Let's see, make sure my hand's out of the way. It's not me. That's crazy. Well, I'm just chilling in the tent. Everybody's out there hunting this morning. Uh, just woke up, it's like 10.30. Oh, all my work is done. Well, until I cut it up some more and cook it, but. Just hanging out in the tent, staying warm. It was pretty cold. There's a whole bunch of dew or uh, moisture and stuff on the inside of the tent. I could feel a little bit last night dripping on me because I didn't have any windows open. I forgot. I only woke up once. I was I was out pretty good. So see if someone else kills one a day, and I'll go trudge up the mountain and help them pack it out. I'm hurting. I'm really really sore. I ended up hiking. Uh, 17 miles yesterday and seven before that so it's a lot of work well i was gonna run into mountain green to get some ice make some phone calls and uh when i went to go start the jeep up i was like man my clutch pedal feels really really soft and yeah I'm losing my clutch this this little bit of it there's like no pressure and then right right there there's a little bit that's the end and it right at first when I pulled it out of gear it kind of like was like all right come on come on come on and it finally dropped 
But I um, really hope I can make a home. I gotta get a phone call. I know my brother is over in another camp. At least um, if we had to get a trailer or something and tow it home. But we'll see what happens. Something like that? Oh yeah. Look at all this traffic. Going home. <laughs> Eventually. Here you go. I gotta, I gotta find the box. I don't have to Well, this is gonna be fun. You can't see it now, but there's traffic for miles and we're not moving. We're dead stopped. Got an empty backpack. We're going back for more. And this time I don't have horns. I mean uh, antlers. So I can take the direct route straight in. Coming out, I had to zig and zag through as many uh, meadows as possible because I it's too thick. You can't you can't get through here with those those freaking antlers on there. And that was like I don't know, I'm curious to know how much that weighed, but I'm I, I'm betting it was a 70 80 pound pack so let's do it again it's rough all right we're just loading up all the meat and the bags and stuff put them in the freezer Willow's helping me huh cheese oh. Willow well if you want to know if a, a five by six bowl will fit in a freezer the answer it's barely. <laughs> I guess I have a little bit more room, but I have three three bone-in quarters and one boned out, so front quarter. But uh, it barely fits. I picked up this cooler for $30. I'm sure as heck glad I have it. <laughs>